So let's look at question 30. We're looking at a hockey game. Two teams are relatively close if the goals occur. Um, so like, sort of, they don't have too many streaks. So if no team ever gets ahead by more than two points, how many ways can the first 12 goals be scored? If it's relatively close. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it looks, it looks kind of easy because 12 doesn't seem that big. <clears throat> if you kind of just list all the possibilities, it might it might get a bit big. Um, but it might be nice to try and do some kind of um, recurrence. So you start with the possible end scores and try to get back to the beginning. Um, or you can start listing the possibilities and try to notice a pattern. And both work. So let's see what you could do is you could let so let M N be number of ways and ending with score M to N. If that's the case then the number we're looking for is so it could end as six six. It could end as five seven. It could end as seven five. Okay. So if you already notice, there's kind of a symmetry between the two teams. So it's actually seven five and five seven would not give you different numbers. So you could think of them as both the same. And we can keep going. So six six comes from it has to come from either five six or six five, right? And they're the same. And seven five has to have come from um six five. It couldn't have come from seven four because that wouldn't be close. So so this is actually also um, sorry, well, six five. But that's actually four times six five. Now six five I can only come from six four and five five. But five five comes from five four and four five. And six four had to come from five four. It kind of come from six three. So, so that's five four. And then four five and five four are the same. So this is three times four. <coughs> four times three times five four. And actually you're starting to notice a pattern here. So five four is gonna come from four four and five three. But five three has to come from four three. Four four has to come from four three and three four, so there's actually just three three fours. So how do I continue this? So let's look at this. So this is four four, okay, plus five three. But 5, 3 is really just 4, 3, because you can only get 5, 3 from 4, 3. And this is really just 4, 3 or 3, 4, so it's 2 times 4, 3. So can you see how the total will be just 3 times 4, 3? So it's actually, we were starting to notice a pattern. If the pattern holds the next one will be you know three times three two. And four three had to come from four two or three three. So four two had to have come from you know three two. Three three must have come from three two and two three and they're all the same. So this is actually three times three two.
the pattern does kind of hold, right? We didn't use anything special about the number, so actually it becomes 4 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 2, and 3, 2 then is just 3 times 2, 1. Okay, so this is 4 times 3 to the power of 4 times, okay, and 2, 1 is just 1, 1 plus 2, 0. 1, 1 plus 2, 0, and 2, 0 is really the same as 1, 0, because you can only get 2, 0 from 1, 0. And, okay, we don't really have to keep going here, because it's the same, actually, but we're so close to the end, we, we, we have to be careful. So 1, 0, there's only one way to get there. And 1, 1, there's only there's two ways to get to 1, 1. You can get 1, 0, then 1, 1, or 0, 1, then 1, 1. All right, so overall, this is 3. The answer is 4 times 3 to the 5. Which is, so 3 squared is 9, then 3 to the power of 4 is 81, 3 to the power of 5 is 81 times 3, which is 243, 4 times 243 is 800, plus 160, 960, plus 12, so 972.